Welcome to the tutorial of uh, structure modeling. So in this tutorial we are going to see how to create, how to model a uh, basic structure. So here uh, in the structure training PDF uh, where you can find uh, every small detail okay, to correctly model the, the structure. So let's back to PDMS. So, uh, if you want uh, further information and go deeper in structural design, please go to the forum to get uh, more information. So, uh, the first thing we, we have to do is go to design, structure, and beams and columns. Okay, this is the sub module uh, we are going to see in this uh, tutorial. So, uh, with PDMS, you can also model panels and plates, walls and floors, and access stairs and ladders, okay? Uh, these three uh, submodules are not included in this tutorial. So let's change to this uh, discipline. And be sure uh, this toolbar here is present. If not, you can right click and activate it. Just customize the the toolbar as you want. Then we have to make sure uh, this profile uh, icon is activated. Okay. Just to give uh, to the profile a specification. Okay, like the specification of the pipelines. We, see, we saw in the previous module and then the second uh, thing we have to do is go to settings pick filters p lines and activate the normal rule just clicking here okay we are going to see uh, what does it mean so in our site PEM piping project, let's create a specific zone for the uh, structures. So create zone. It's up to you the name. So steel uh, work. Purpose we can set steel work. Remember it is uh, optional. Okay, so the next level of hierarchy will be create, will be the structure. Create structure. Give it a name. So, uh, structure one, purpose still area okay then the second level will be the frame so create framework framework could be okay there's a frame here containing three sections or this row here containing three columns okay it's up to you uh, in this case, we are going to use a framework for the columns. And we are going to create another framework for uh, the beams. So in, if we need uh, additional framework, just go to create framework. Uh, SAP framework is just an additional and optional level of hierarchy, like the sub equipment level. Okay, it's not necessary. 